Hey everyone, how you doing today? It's me, David, coming to you from my whiskey den here in central Ohio. Hope you're having a good day. If you hear any noise in the background, my little buddy Whiskey, my uh, miniature poodle, little boy, so sweet. He's just, he's hanging out here in the whiskey den with me. Um, recently, we met up with some friends of ours, Jason and Kathy. They're from Idaho. They were in Tennessee for a week for an event um, not associated with whiskey, although they are whiskey connoisseurs and um, visited a couple of distilleries down in Tennessee. But what this uh, the second week they were out this way, my wife and I went down to Kentucky and we met up with them and we hit some distilleries. So I want to talk to you a little bit about um, the Buffalo Trace Distillery. We did the tour at the distillery, and uh, I wanted to give you my thoughts on that tour. It was a, it was pretty good. We really enjoyed it. Um, as far as I know, it was free. What are you doing, whiskey? Whiskey, what are you doing down there? Are you are you schmutzing? He's eating a piece of paper. I should get that away from him. Okay, come on, come on, whiskey. No more schmutz in the paper. Wanted him to play with it, not eat it. <clears throat> All right. Where were we? Okay. <laughs> Back to the... Come here. You want to come here? Let me get him. Come here, little guy. Oh, you're just a little guy. Oh, okay. We're going to put him up on the chair. There we go. Sit down right there. Sit. Sit, Whiskey. This is my least polished video on the channel, that's for sure. <laughs> so here's Whiskey right here. So um, Whiskey did not come with us on this tour, the Buffalo Trace. Um, anyway, I haven't. I think this is the first tour I've done at a bourbon distillery. Um, I've gone to a bunch of uh, distilleries. Really, you know, hit the gift shop and just looked around the campus. But I think this was the first tour I did. And from what I understand, because Jason and Kathy made the arrangements, it was a free tour, which first off is great. Um, they did have to make reservations. And we were able to get like last minute reservations uh, for the tour. And it was really pretty good. Um, our tour guide was named Ray, R-A-E, and she, um, I, I'm kind of flinching a little bit, but she did a really good job. We really enjoyed um, the way she did the tour. The tour felt very corporate, and we know that she would, she would have to follow some sort of script, which was in her head, which was good, but she was... She, she did an excellent job. She made us feel like she was the only tour group she's ever done. So that felt really special. So um, she also gave us statistics, which I didn't jot down, um, of the you know barrels. And it was interesting. She talked about how they do, you know, we all know Mash Bill 1, Mash Bill 2, and um, the Weeded Mash Bill. She talked, but the way she put it was there was different mash bills that they used, basically mass produced, small batch, and then um, like the single barrels. So that's how she presented that. <clears throat> um, different warehouses um, will yield different flavor profiles because of where they're located, where the barrels are located in those warehouse, rick houses, warehouses. And also, just, you know, it, it's kind of luck of the draw, how they get their, um, their, like, the barrels, how, you know, it depends on weather, it depends on, again, location, char of the barrel, um, time in the barrel. Uh, the other thing was that, you know, a, a standard bourbon, uh, like Buffalo Trace may be the result of anywhere, 
you know, of up to 2,000 different barrels to get that flavor profile. That's their signature flavor for Buffalo Trace bourbon, as well as many of their other blended bourbons. Um, single barrel bourbons can have, which we know, can have different flavor profiles depending on those particular barrels. Um, we watched them bottling Blanton's and Elmer T. Lee, saw a big pallet on a forklift of Elmer T. cartons of Elmer T. Lee. Unfortunately, we couldn't get any. And then after the tour was over, oh, I have them over there. We got, um, went up um, to the second floor of the gift shop and they had special rooms set up for the tours. So we got to, I know you want to, you want to, you want to, you want to try to chomp on this, don't you? <laughs> so from, you know, left to right, we got to sample Buffalo Trace, um, Weller Special Reserve, Eagle Rare, uh, Buffalo Trace Bourbon Cream, and Freddy's Root Beer, ladies and gentlemen, Freddy's Root Beer. And the way we did it, was we did Buffalo Trace the shot first as an acclimation shot. Did like half the little shot of it to acclimate our palates and taste buds. And then finished that acclimation and found that it was much smoother without the burn. And then we hit the Eagle Rare next because it's the same mash bill. And... That, I'm telling you, I don't know if it's that Eagle Rare was opened up for so long that it tasted really good. Um, not like the Eagle Rare I've had here. <laughs> um, and then our next one was Weller Special Reserve, which is one of my, I gotta say, favorite bourbons. Um, excellent um, bourbon. Um, and then we tried a little bit of the bourbon cream. And then she had us take the rest of the bourbon cream and pour it into the shot of the Freddy's root beer to make kind of like a alcoholic root beer float. But I snuck a little taste of that Freddy's root beer. <laughs> so uh, before I did that, and it was really good. I really enjoyed that. So unfortunately, we did not get the we did not pick up the bourbon cream or the Freddy's root beer at the gift shop. But in the gift shop. That day, they're offering um, Buffalo Trace bourbon and then their Wheatley vodka, which is always offered uh, whenever we go to the gift shop. <clears throat> I usually pass on it, but you know what? I got a bottle of Buffalo Trace just for the, for the heck of it. And here in this part of the country, it is highly allocated. Jason kind of laughed because in Idaho and in the West, it's not allocated. It's all over the place. So he thought it was kind of funny. Um, and the, I guess the day we were there, the one bottle limit was suspended. So I saw people coming out with like a case of Buffalo Trace bourbon. They must be from this part of the country. Uh, it's good standard bourbon. I do like it. It's kind of grown on me, but you know, there's better bourbons out there in my opinion. Although Ray, our tour guide, she, uh, she really built everything up to make me actually feel like Buffalo Trace products were the top of the line, the best bourbons you could buy. And uh, she'd even say every night she goes home and she just takes a swig of Buffalo Trace at the end of the day. So she may, she may be desire Buffalo Trace. So in the gift shop, again, we had uh, Buffalo Trace available, the bourbon cream, the Freddy's Root Beer, the Wheatley Vodka. And that day, the special... Um, allocated bourbon that was offered was Eagle Rare. We got there, our tour was at 1030. We got there just under the wire, so we had to get to the tour first. Um, and even though I'm not crazy about Eagle Rare, I did want a bottle or two just to see if I did get a bad batch um, last time around in Idaho, uh, or at least bottles for trading for other stuff I'd like. So, um, at the end of our tastings, Ray had mentioned that if we didn't have, if we didn't get a bottle of Eagle Rare before the tour, that they had 
and this was nice. They had set aside for the tours um, bottles in the back uh, and got little vouchers. And when you go to Buffalo Trace, you get a little um, wristband. So they had scanned the wristband to make sure because you're only allowed one a month, I think it is, or one a day. I'm not sure. Uh, I think one a month of the special allocation like Eagle Rare. <clears throat> so my wife got a voucher. I got a voucher. Got two bottles. And then they were putting out Weller Special Reserve. Um, after I paid for that stuff, and so I got a bottle of Weller Special Reserve, even though I can find it here, I always like to have an extra bottle on hand. So I picked up at the distillery the Weller Special Reserve. And any other thoughts on that tour? It was, you know, it was a good tour. It was a cold day, cold autumn day. We've had a cold snap and that was a day that we had a cold snap. But you know what, whiskey? You don't really... It doesn't affect you because you got a little coat on all the time. But it was a really cool tour. Uh, again, it was a little corporate. But I think Ray did a really good job trying to make it not feel so corporate. And we did enjoy it. And we would do it again. We'd go back and do it all over again. So there you go. If you are in Kentucky, in Frankfort, Kentucky... Don't hesitate to book a tour for your Buffalo Trace um, distillery tour. Uh, you, and they do, I feel like they do take care of you at the distillery. Um, I was kind of stressing about getting the Eagle Rare, but they had it set aside. And like I said, they were putting out the Weller uh, after that. So who knows what you'll find <laughs> when you go just make sure you get a tour early enough in the morning so you don't miss the allocated stuff so until next there you go until next time it's me david and good old whiskey right here coming to you from my whiskey den here in central ohio i hope your next pour is your best pour and if you have visited buffalo trace leave your thoughts in the comments i'd like to hear from you so we'll catch you next time and thanks for watching Hey everyone, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe so you can be notified of future videos as they drop. Thanks for watching.